Association House has confirmed the closure date of Casa de Refugiado, one of the biggest shelters that they operate. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Andy Morgan. Natasia has the day off. Our border report team was the first to report this story. We have KTSM 9 News reporter Tanya Davis live at the U.S.-Mexico border to tell us why they are shutting down this facility and what plans the county has for future shelters. Tani. Andy County Judge Ricardo Samaniego says it's important to find a shelter as well as a processing center that will be able to handle a large amount of people now that Casa de Refugiado is shutting down. Now, Samaniego says he knows the city is trying to find an equivalent to the shelter since it was much bigger than others and could house more refugees. On the county side, they are looking for a processing center so they can get a handle on the migrants that are coming through. Samaniego says the shelters would house the migrants as they wait for their sponsors and land says the processing centers will help Border Patrol and the detention centers move quickly, especially with the expectation that Title 42 will end. We know that, you know, everybody's expecting Title 42 to be lifted eventually, and we have to be ready, and one of the things that would help us is to have the process center ready and to have this bigger shelter uh, equivalent to Casa Refugiado. Samaniego says the city and the county is working extremely hard to find a solution so that they may be ready for the surge of migrants that are expected to come through. Now, the, the executive director of the Annunciation House says July 31st is the day that Casa de Refugiado will be shutting its doors, but that all other operations will be fully functional. Andy? Yeah, Antonio, in terms of how much space is needed to house these released migrants, how many people do they want to be able to comfortably fit inside some of these shelters? Andy, well, according to uh, Samaniego, he says that the Casa de Frujiado couldn't be used to its fullest capacity due to COVID-19. So if they want to find something similar in size to be used in that capacity, it needs to house around 1,000 refugees. I'm Tony Davis. Back to you all.